Hi, it's me again with Career Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and I get so many emails, I don't know uh, if he's printing this, but you can see the gray box. This is a bitmap. He, his only problem is it won't print. Go to Windows, Dockers, Objects, and there's the bitmap, and it, we know it's got it all because I'm going to hit delete, and it's gone. What it is, his printer is enabled. So now it ought to print. As I think he even said it might be something really simple, and it is. But that's, to me, not the only problem. Uh, I don't know if he's printing this or engraving this. You know, a lot of us engravers call, call printing, uh, you know, the, the occasional leaves or bitmaps too. He said he made some changes to the original, and it's pretty late at night, and I'm not going to wait for an email. Maybe he'll reply to this. But um, all the white background is gone. I mean, it's uh, nothing there. Um, you know, I mean, I even did a yellow box trick, so he doesn't have any uh, hidden white background to it go to order, put it back a page. But it's still a bitmap because uh, it, you know, if you look, there's the bitmap bounding box or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> this particular one, I think even if you're printing it, you need to get rid of that bitmap. And I mean, even from the distance, the circles on the edge don't look like they're even joined and they're, they're rough. And especially if you're doing a... Uh, engraving on this. This would be a very easy one just to start over. And the way I would do it is five inches. I'm going to set my nudge factor like to six. He didn't ask for this. But I'm going to make a duplicate of that and nudge it over. Then I'm going to take the crop tool and with, with something selected, so the other part, you notice it's selected. So when I hit, when I crop it, it won't make everything else disappear. I would consider tracing this tree and just retyping your text into a vector format. So if we go to trace and outline trace and clip art, I don't know how much problem this tree is going to be to trace. And I just started, I just did a deal where I actually want a before and after to see what it looks like. It's, it's quite a bit. I should have probably reduced it in size and hopefully this will help him because he didn't really ask for that. He was just asking because it wouldn't print. But now we have a vector tree that we can actually take apart. And you see all the, that's not a problem. What we're going to do is now break this apart. <clears throat> Ungroup it. Let's get rid of this oval part that was lagging. Now I'm going to take the leaves I'm going to nudge him out of the way because I'm going to do something with the other part that is kind of neat. But I'm just going to get all the leaves because we nudge them right back. I'm going to get rid of my object. Now, if you notice, there's some black and grays and browns. Well, we've got everything separated. So what I'm going to do is just select it all and turn them black. Now you got a good black. It's still not, you know, not a perfect trace. And actually, if we, we can get rid of some more stuff, if we combine it, if we go up here, see there's some garbage left over, but I don't think we can grab the garbage. Um, I would go through here and see when you move, when you do this, you can see some garbage left over, remnants of something. I think just one more and we got it. The tree might actually be together. And that might be a cool uh, item right there. So let's do it one more time. Got rid of all the trash, maybe one more trash up here. And I hope you can see what I'm talking about with trash. I, that's my own terminology. But when we click on it, You'll see a node right there, and that's called, 
I call it trash. Does it need to be there? If it's really close to the tree, it doesn't matter. Then it's probably just something like that that wouldn't hurt to have it, but we'll just get rid of it. Now we need to combine this. You can go up to object and combine. Now the whole tree is going to be solid black and those lines aren't going to be there. Now what's so cool about this, because we nudged it, we can nudge it right back to where the tree is. And then I would group that together, control G. Then I would just redo the, the text and you have a good, clean uh, graphic, you know, start over with an oval. You know, that's part of the, that's the whole bitmap right there. And it doesn't take very long to retype. And especially if you work in the center of the page and uh, space this out in the center of the page, then just take another oval and without holding down the control button, and you could, you know, if, depending on where you want it. So let, now let's hit P, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, and then hit P. And because we're now working in the center of the page, this is all one group. We can start moving, hold down the control button, and it's going to be in the center of the page. And then if you just take this in loving memory and retype it, I think it'll be a lot better. And then if we look at it under Object Manager now, I get lost sometimes. See, now it's it's in a printable layer. And that's an ellipse. That's the group of everything's unlocked, invisible. But there's our bitmap that you could just delete after you get it done. And then I guarantee it would print. And I guarantee you're going to be happier with the quality. If you look at that tree versus this tree, I mean, look at the fuzziness. You're going to get a lot better print. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.